Hey guys, welcome to Food Tales. I'm Trinity. And I'm Bo. And today we'll be having some pizza. Yay! Yay! So we got some oh, yeah. uh, pizza twisties yeah, that so Bo found in the shopping centre. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh, we need to have this. I don't know. It might be nice, but in my experience, anything pizza flavour is pretty good. Yeah. So then we're probably going to just go and crumble it on this pizza, mm -hmm. the pepperoni and cheese. And this one we're going to leave plain. I'm going to add some basil to it to uh, enhance the flavour of yeah. it. Yeah. So we're going to go pop these babies in the oven and we'll be right back. Um, oh wow, they actually have cheese slices in here. Oh, that looks very cute. <laughs> So this is a pepperoni one. Pepperoni. Hey guys, we're back with our pizzas. Um, this one's a pepperoni with the basil. Mm -hmm. And this one's just cheese, cheese. Tomato? They, they had, they had um, frozen tomatoes on it. <laughs> frozen cherry tomatoes and yeah. they were like just bouncing around. Yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that one looks really good. So we actually like have, we bought a mini uh, basil plant. plant yeah. yeah. So we just picked the leaves off and just added extra. So that's why this one has some yeah. basil on it. So we're just gonna cut the pizzas with scissors. Do you know? Okay. So you know, they won't be even slices just because I can't be bothered. <laughs> hey, we just cut up our pizzas. Um, which one are you going to try? I want this one. This one smells really nice. Okay, so I'm I'll just, just gonna go grab this one. one. Okay. So this is just pe standard pepperoni with some a basil in it. So. Yeah, and I've got like some mozzarella, it looks like, and tomato. Yeah, cheese. cheese. Okay. I can't believe that pizza held up so well. I know, this looks really good. Mmm! Mmm! Holy shit! This pizza is tasty. Mmm! My pizza just burst. Really? Yeah. Oh. The tomatoes are really like. Really you mean, juicy. You mean the frozen ones? The frozen ones are real juicy. Mmm. Good flavour. We have another story time today. Mm. This story time is so funny, actually. Yeah. Mm. It's just like a post office story time. Um, if you guys watch us a lot, you know that we're like have so many stories about post offices, like we just so much bad luck with it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so um, so um, our parcels basically never get delivered directly to us because people can't be bothered, you know, calling the intercom and shit because we live in an apartment. And um, so it always gets sent to the post office for collection. Yep. But the thing is, we have so many post offices near us and it never gets sent to any any of the post offices near us. It always gets sent to the furthest, the furthest one away from us. Like it's still in our suburb, but it's the furthest, most far away one. So we always have to make trips to it. Um, I swear to God, this post office it it's never open or yeah. something. <laughs> like what the fuck is wrong with this post office? Every time we go there, it's always under construction, mm. closed or low. Or lols, you, I heard you were coming, so we're closed. I don't know. Mm. Or uh, we lost your parcel. Don't know what happened. Mm, that happened to me once. Oh, there was one time that where I went to the post office mm -hmm. to collect um a parcel for like because I bought clothes offline mm. online, mm. and oh my god, this lady took an hour to find a parcel. And she's <laughs> like, it's missing. She's like, I don't know where it is. No, but I'm like, I got the post card. Like it should be here. Like, mm, like that's what? True. This is nice. It's got like Italian herbs on it or something. Mm. But yeah. 
so yeah um anyway yeah we went there on saturday because our parcel was supposed to be delivered or well, on friday but like they don't send out the card until the next day anyway yeah um so we went there on saturday and the post office closes at 12 30 so just after noon um so we got there at 11 30 <laughs> and all the lights were off and no one was in there and we're like well what's, what's this I was like, it's my curse, I'm sorry, sister. And I know. she was like, you! I raced you! I was like, raging at me. All I, all I could say was, you! 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 And, um, while we were freaking out outside, this lady came and she was like, she was just looked at us and she looked at the post office and she was like, her face, her face was like, that face where you make when you use, just like you're pissed off. Yeah, she and was like, just like, and then she just turned around and left. Yeah. And then, like, we, we were still there because we were like, mm. no, we have to get in. We mm. need this parcel. We, mm. need, we have to get in. Mm. We were like, and then, like, but we were like going around the building. We were still clinging around the building. Oh, and then wow. I'm like, I, I was I, touching I, all yeah. the doors. I was like, I'm like, what are you doing? And she's like, I'm trying to get in. And then I'm like, okay. And then there was a door next to the post office. And I opened it because there was like mailboxes. Like, you see through that door. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And then it opened. I'm like, okay, okay. And then, like, we walked a bit down. And then there was this machine that said parcel, mm. parcel collection or something. Okay. Early parcel collection. It was so weird. It was like, um, it looked like a bank telling machine, mm -hmm. if you know what I mean, like an ATM. Um, and yeah, it was touchscreen. It was like, are you here to collect a parcel? Um, you know, enter a code or mm -hmm. something. And we were like, what the fuck are they talking about? They're like... You should have received an email about the notification about your your parcel coming, and, I'm, and I was like, "What? How you know my email?" Mm. <laughs> and we were like checking all our emails. We were just standing there on our phone checking our emails, mm -hmm. and a lady came in behind us, and she just walked past us to the boxes, and then what, what happened? And then, and then she rang on the black wall. This the wall was black, by yeah. the way. I rang this freaking invisible button next to this invisible door. To be fair, in the wall. To be fair, it wasn't even a door. It was like you know those 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 um hatches for like water. You know, it looked like yeah, it looked like where you would put you know your fire. You, you there's a fire hydrant and mm. a hose mm. where the hose would be hiding behind a wall, like that kind of door. Um, on top of the button there was duct tape and yeah. it said bell. bell. And we're like, what? You, you're supposed to see that. You're supposed to see bell. No instructions, no nothing, just says bell. This is masking tape, bell, on a black wall, black button, black door. Just like, okay. Anyway, yeah, she pressed that and then, like, put the little door open. We couldn't see because we were on, like, the same side as the wall. And then, what is it? Hands came out. Some, yeah, and then, like, <laughs> took, the, took the, she, she, she took the part, the, the post slip, slip out. Yeah. And then the hands came out and then just took it. And then the door, like, it's creaky too. So it just closed and it's sh slammed shut. This happened in silence, by the way. No yep. words. <laughs> it was like... The man or the creature didn't speak at all. Yeah, no. Five minutes later, the door swung open. Yeah. And he gave her the parcel. Yeah. <laughs> and, then, and then Trinity was like, Is that the parcel collection? And yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, like... We were actually behind her before she received the parcel. Yeah. And the door slammed shut. And we had to ring the bell or button we're, we're like, for the, the man to open. On? And then the door didn't open for like two minutes or something. I don't mm. know what, what, what he was doing. Some sorcery, some black magic, some Harry Potter stuff. Mm. I was scared, man. I was scared too. I was just like, I need my parcel. Like, I traveled far. And wide for this shit. I need my parcel. I'm not coming back. It took us 25 minutes to get there. No. Oh, it took you 25. I had to come from my house to here to there. So it took me like... Oh, and the trams weren't working. Oh, it was a bad day, man. It took me so long to get there. It took me like two hours to get there. So, yeah. I was like, nah, I'm not coming back. So, yeah. We rung the door. He came a little later. We, we gave him the slip and we were like, oh, we're here to pick up a parcel. Didn't say a word. Did not say a word. It was Just talk funny it. because he, close was, it off. he was cloaked too. He had like a hoodie on. Yeah. And then like when you actually look inside, like 
it's like I swear it's like Narnia or something mm. because that room did not look as big it, as it did on the How do you get in that room? Do you climb in that hole? The hole was very small. Mind you, we are very small people. Oh. I don't think I can fit in there. I think I could have fit in there, but Oh she can. But it was pretty small. It's not a door. It's like a a doggy door for a big dog. Mm. That size. But um Yeah, but that room was bigger than yeah, the, the yeah. post office. There was so there's so many parcels, so it's like Santa's parcels. workshop yeah, or something. <laughs> I but bet yeah. he's keeping it all so. <laughs> mm. This piece is very nice. Which one do you like? I like this one. But, um... So yeah, we gave him that. Shut the door on us. I was so scared. I was, I was like, just like, God. I think we're getting our parcel. <laughs> Yeah, like five minutes later, he came back with it. Gave it to us, shut the door. It's like, cool. This is the best job in the world. You just live in a hole. And all you do, you don't even need to talk to people. I actually think he lives in that hole. Well, I don't see how he could get out. <laughs> how do you get out? This title show. I know what it is. You starve yourself to death, and then when you're skinny enough, you can get out. That's a freedom, man. Mm. But yeah, I didn't know there was a job like that then. If, if, if you could have that job, would you take it? Yeah. It seems pretty cruisy, like, yeah, you're stuck in a room full of parcels, but all you have to do is hand out parcels, right? Mm. But yeah, like, we lived here for so long, we never knew that was, that was a thing. I guess because we collect our parcels on the weekday. Mm. That one but time. it was just like... Wow, there's a system like that? Do we... Is that normal? I don't is that know. normal? Where Guys, you live? Like, how's your post, post office work? Like, we have a man in a hole. <laughs> Mysterious man that doesn't mm -hmm. walk. Yeah, that's it. That, that was the creepy part. It was like, silent operation, black market bullshit. What are you here for? <laughs> no words, you just... Oh my god. Mmm. This pizza is actually very saucy. Mmm. It's a really good think, brand, guys, actually. Yeah, I think they have a good ratio of, like, of, like, the pizza dough and pop and topping. Because the thing I hate about pizzas the most is, like, if the bread is too doughy mm. and then, like, it's just dry because you have nothing on top. It's thin crust. Mmm. I like thin crust pizzas. Mm. This has pesto as well. So yeah, I think you're right. It has a lot of like liquidy, juicy toppings. So it's not dry. Mm. It's very good looking pizza for frozen pizza. Very good for frozen pizza. Like, I'd say that's probably better than some shit pizza place, you know, like, mm. that's fresh stuff. I actually like frozen pizzas. Why is that? Because it's more, like, thinner. Mm. They mm. have really thin crust. Mm. We'll get store-bought pizza next time, guys. Yeah, we'll, we'll do, um, we'll go to a place that's, like, popular around here. Hey, what is this? I, I sometimes eat my crust. Eat your crust? I eat it last. Wait, it's full. I don't know, I eat it after. When it's all hard and cold. I don't know why. She's I, lying, guys. No, I do. I think it's because I want to enjoy the toppings first. And then when I'm full, I'll just munch on this shit. <laughs> Hashtag boo waster. No. Well, how about you guys? Do you guys eat the crust? I bet you're like half, half the people don't eat the crust. But I do eat my crust, I just eat it after I eat everything else. What? Have you tried doing it like that? The crust is the good part. You're welcome to have I don't want to eat your crust. Why not? Because it's not enough pizza to crust ratio. What? But you eat it separately, don't you? Or do you like take a big bite? I'll take a big bite. Oh, really? Okay. Are you okay? Mmm. <laughs> this one's good too, though. 
I think I like, I like this one more because I like pepperoni. Mm. There's one time where I ordered a large pepperoni pizza by myself and watched K dramas. <laughs> it was the best night of my life, man. I can't complain. Like sometimes those nights are the best nights where you just pig out and be sad. And then but you're alone in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> Hmm. What K drama were you watching? Just anything. I was watching Goblin. You keep telling me to watch Goblin. I don't know what that is. It's sad, man. You know, I actually cry really easy. Mm. So if it's a sad drama, I'll be fucking crying, man. Did you cry? Multiple times. So really? Not even in the ending, man. I, 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 I'm pretty sure I've cried every K drama I've seen. Like, that's how bad I am. This K-drama is not even compared to this one. Really? This one you cry, you can cry a hundred liters of tears. Normal K-drama is you cry one liter of tears. Wait, do you cry every K-drama you see? No. No. Okay, so I'll definitely cry. Okay. I don't know why I cry. <laughs> Anything sad happens, it's like, oh, it's so, so why? Why are you so mean to him? I still like anime more. Mm. Over K dramas. What is that? I think with K drama, it kind of gets stale in the middle. Mm. Like they try to drag it out too much, or too much shit happens, and mm. it's just like, see, I was with you until until this unbelievable shit happened. Mm. Like it just gets too much. But why do you like anime more? Isn't the new age anime too? <laughs> the drama style was good. Mm -hmm. The new age anime is not good, as good as um two or three years back, but what can you do now in society nowadays, man? Because I think anime has a lot of, these days have a lot of boy and boy action, right? Or girl, just a girl group, no guys at all, or all guys. Either one gender, it's only mm. one gender, or a. a Harem? Harem? Anyway, so I'll insert the word here. That is like a lot of girls and one guy. Yeah, that type of anime too. It's like... I've been an old school anime where it's just like balanced team of boys and girls fighting or working together or doing your shit, you know? It doesn't work anymore, man. Why not? Is that just too boring now? Am I too boring now? No, 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 no. I want to no, no. watch that shit too, but they, they make weird animes now. They make guy and guy Is that like just stand out or something? Or is that like actually what people want to watch? I don't know, man. Sometimes like, like some animes, I know like it takes a lot of effort to make an anime. It does. But like, when I see an anime that's like, that, that is actually bad, and, like a bad mm, plot, I'm hurts. just like, it yeah. hurts my soul because I'm just like, you could have like made something amazing, could have made something big yourself, but you just have to follow this 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 stupid formula of X male age. girls. Yeah. Oh Jesus. Oh. Too could have been another Bleach anime, but no. Yeah. Like your animation is better than Bleach anime or, or Naruto or stuff, mm. but no, it's just a full full gay anime that I only watch because the picture's nice, but the storyline's so shit that you want to kill yourself sometimes. <laughs> I'm an otaku, guys! <laughs> I confess! <laughs> if I could read in Japanese, I would probably be broke from buying all manga books. You know there's manga that's been translated, right? Yeah, I know. But I can't buy them because... I can't buy them. There's, I've seen a few books around. But they're, they're not, um, I guess, your genre. Mm. It's like some kind of martial arts kind of story. I saw, I saw Tokyo Girl. Tokyo Girl. Oh, in translated manga version. Mm. So only those type of mangas get translated into English. Oh, like super popular ones, yeah. I wish I could read Japanese so I can buy like this, these manga books. You'd love Japan, there's so many bookstores. Oh my god, if I go to Japan, I need to learn, I need to learn the basic of the words so I can read manga. Good luck, you can only read the ones written for kids then. Oh my god. Okay guys, that's the end of our video. Please make sure to like and subscribe for this basil plant that we bought. Yes. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Um, 
Sorry guys, we forgot to open our pizza twisters. I'm pretty sure you guys have been like, uh, where thinking, the fuck are these twisters? Yeah, thinking the whole time when are they gonna put it on? We actually forgot. I'm terribly <laughs> sorry. But let me read the ingredients on this. This um, this salt, cheese powder, uh, tomato powder, um, herbs, spices, paprika, chili, cumin, black pepper. So this is supposed to be spicy, I think. Okay. Ooh. It smells, it smells Mexican, like it's Mexican for some reason. Okay. No, I'm serious. Right. It smells like Mexican food. Let's just have one. Oh my god. Cheers, Sarah. Mmm. It's so cheesy. I feel like it needs more flavor. Maybe it's because we have this. Mmm. Very good. It's good as a uh, empty snack, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you can just keep eating it because it's, it's like a mild flavor, mm -hmm. so it doesn't build up. Mm. Do you prefer this or normal twisties? Yeah. I don't like normal twisties. Mm. Mm. Okay, make sure to thumbs up the video for the party size mm -hmm. twist. <laughs> Twisties and this beautiful basil. 